since the start of 2022, more than 150,000 people have been diagnosed with colorectal cancer. That fact leads many to people wondering, how can we fight it? We're being joined by Shelby Comis. She is the Public Health Prevention Coordinator with the City of Sioux Falls. She's going to fill us in on a few statistics involved in fighting colorectal cancer and shine a light on an upcoming event dedicated to raising awareness about the disease. Welcome, Shelby. Thank you for having me. Raising awareness, that is a key phrase. Yes. Why is it so important to raise awareness about this, especially a topic that some people kind of don't like to talk about? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things about colorectal cancer is that many times it goes uh, unrecognized. You don't... Um, feel symptoms and you're not really feeling that you should get checked out um, while it's creeping up and um, kind of sneaking in up on you. So it's really good to raise awareness and that the screening piece of this is so important. Do you think when it comes to that screening that a lot of people don't go do it unless they know of a family history? Yeah, it, it's not one of um, the most common types of um, preventive screenings. Of course, we always push for it, but it's a smaller age um, kind of gap there where people are getting screened from around 45 to 75. And so we go so long in our life and not having to do it. It's just not something that we think about doing unless our doctor is saying that if we're not going to the doctor, we're not getting reminded. And to some people, it can feel like a scary screening to go into people um, having to maybe go under anesthesia is not their favorite um, piece of that. But um, ultimately, it's really important to at least ask your doctor about that screening. So right now we have some different statistics up on the screen and this really puts it into perspective for us. I mean, one out of 20, 23 men, one out of 25 women. So this is more common than we probably think. Absolutely. And it's very preventable in the sense that if we get screened early, um, that we're finding those polyps, that we are able to treat it earlier on and have a higher outlook um, on that survival rate. Do you find that maybe more men are likely to stay away from the screening than women? In general, uh, men are less likely to uh, want to go and get those preventive screenings. So ultimately, um, they might be finding it at a later stage um, or not getting in quite as soon as they should for those screenings. So and finding it at that later stage, why does that become a problem? It's just as um, it advances um, the stage of that cancer. So if you're finding it early, you're able to treat it early or you're able to prevent some of those polyps from developing into cancerous um, opportunities. So by finding it early, you're just able to jump on it earlier, treat it, or prevent it in some cases. I was doing some research online and like the fact we just had up on the screen about it being the second leading cause of death, which is very, very high and a huge reason that's taking people's lives, but it says that it's very, very treatable. Yes, and that's one of the reasons we, we want to push those screenings as soon as possible and talk to your provider. In some cases, they might recommend you do it earlier if there is a family history. Um, but we really want to jump on that sooner because the death rate can be high on those um, cancers. About you know roughly 30% of those that are diagnosed this year will pass away. And so ultimately, even if we're getting those cancers, we want to treat them. We want to catch those earlier on. So let's get into more about the raising awareness aspect about yeah. this. And we're going to get into the event that you guys have coming up to do that. But when it comes to having those conversations with your loved ones, maybe your spouse is really against going to the doctors. How can you have those conversations to really kind of put it into perspective that your health matters? And although you might not want to go get a screening, why it's so important? Yeah. And first, I think it's just important to know the options. Um, some of the most um, no, well-known screening option is a colonoscopy, but that can be very scary for people. So I think it's important just to stress having those conversations with your provider and having those conversations with your loved one to encourage them to reach out to their provider. Or if they don't have one, they're welcome at Falls Community Health. But essentially, we want to know all of the options that are available and know that um, it, it's maybe not as scary as it seems and that ultimately it's it's there to help you um, and it's usually um, once every 10 years that you're having that um, procedure done unless something um, shows that's concerning but then that's why we're there so that we find it so right. ultimately it doesn't have to be nearly as scary as it seems and even if you are within um, the age range of getting a colonoscopy or um, a screening done that you can give them your experience as well all right, well, let's get into now the Blue Move 5K. So tell me a little bit about what happens at this event. Yeah, so the event is this Saturday on August 13th. And at the event, we are, um, we'll show up and kind of give a little um, overview of what, um, 
what we're talking about today, what colon cancer is and colorectal screenings. And um, then we'll have a fun 5K run or walk um, or a one mile walk. So we really have options for everybody who are able to get out there and be active and just celebrate um, colorectal screenings and the um, preventative screenings. And we encourage everybody to wear blue and just crazy and just have a really good time. We'll have a DJ there and just hang out for the beautiful weather we have this year. So dress crazy of a DJ. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty fun event. We like to party a little bit. So yeah, we, um, we don't want it to be as scary. We know that it does have kind of a negative connotation. Um, and so we want to just make it fun um, and really spread the word. So when it comes to, you know, attending this event too, obviously it's going to be a lot of fun, but you are raising awareness for a good cause. Now, is there going to be more information given out or can people get more online if they're you know, maybe wondering if this is something they should do. Yeah, so we will have um, Falls Community Health will have our information on the screening options available um, and general health information um, in the bags given to participants that come. Um, but they're always welcome on our website, um, livewellsufalls.org. Um, and we have a bunch of information on colorectal cancer there as well. And it's that $35 registration fee, correct? Correct. Um, through the 11th, uh, Yep, the 11th, and then um, the last two days, the day before and the day of, then it goes up to 40. So how important is it to not only attend events like this and raise awareness, but having that conversation with your doctor, you know, getting that screening scheduled? Yeah, ultimately we want to normalize these conversations. Um, preventive screenings for any type of cancer or any type of health um, issue is very important. It ultimately leads to that quality of life. We want our residents here in Sioux Falls and across the nation to be ha healthy, happy, um, and just really enjoy their life. And being able to do these screenings is um, an option that people can extend that quality of life and just really avoid having to have that advanced stage that maybe is starting to affect once they feel those symptoms and not being able to live um, out their life. All right, well, thank you so much, Shelby, for coming in and telling us all about this. Yeah.